I'm so excited. I got this yarn in today. It's um go, I think it's go fur fox yarn by Lion Brand. I'm so excited. I bought six of these in the color in the color pink poodle. So I have this really cute idea. So let's see if it comes out right. I'm gonna put this to the side here. It says to use a a nine millimeter hook, but I do not have a nine. I had a nine, but I don't know where it's at at the moment. So <laughs> I'm gonna use an eight millimeter hook and um, a measuring tape, of course. So what I want to do is a fur vest with a hood type thing for my daughter. So I already pre-measured her before I turned on the camera. And the number of chains varies for each child. But my daughter from around her waist, like a couple inches before her belly button on each side, is 17 inches long so we are going to chain a chain until it's 17 inches long I'm gonna pull from the middle just because I like to you don't have to okay I'm gonna actually put this to the side a little bit oh, so pretty so, of course, we're going to start off with a split knot as usual. I use my two fingers. I wrap around and I pull through to it's a loop like this. So, I'm going to insert my hook, tighten the yarn, and I'm going to chain loosely because we don't, this is my first time actually using this yarn, so we don't know how this is going to work out. So, I'm chaining very loosely. And I actually should have counted one, two, three, four, five, six, this is a, this is eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, let's see, nope, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one. 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30. Let's see if that's enough. Okay, so we're going to go with 30 and I'm going to put a, um, two more chains. So it's going to be 31. Now. This is going to be very difficult. Let's see if this works out. So we're going to skip the first chain. And honestly, guys, I'm not, I wouldn't even be able to show you if I wanted to. You're going to have to feel for these chains. So that's the one that's connected. So we're going to go right into the next one. And we're going to do a single crochet. Then right into the next one. And then we're just going to single crochet across. Let me let me zoom you out and hold on. Okay. So actually let me zoom out just a little bit. Okay, so I don't think you're gonna be able to see this, but like you have to really just feel for it. So as I was reading the ball of yarn, it says for a garment you need eight balls. 
I only bought six but I'm thinking like she's little she's only four so a baby garment should be only so pretty this how it's looking so far I'm gonna actually zoom you guys back out sorry so this is how it's looking so far I'm just gonna keep going in this row with single crochets I'm sorry if this video is all over the place but I literally just got this yarn in today well actually yesterday I picked it up today and I was just like let's turn on the camera and see what we can make so if it comes out right you guys will be seeing this video Ooh. Has this has to okay Okay, so the way I'm going to do this to make sure I'm not skipping any chains and I'm not adding any chains is I'm going to keep measuring this the whole time. Okay, so I said 16 to 17, but that's fine. Make sure that it's always going to be 16 now because the first two rows were 16 inches. I make sure it's always 16 inches now. So now I'm going to chain one. Take the out so you see. I'm really just going to chain one, turn my work. Can you see? Okay, so this is easier now. You can see the V's. Let me see. So you can see the V's now, so it's much easier. So you can see the V's now, so it's really much easier to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go right into that first V. And I am just going to single crochet across and I'm going to continue to single crochet across back and forth chaining one until the garment is 13 inches. So I'm going to keep single crocheting until it's 13 inches long and then um i'll come back and show you guys and tell you guys how many balls i use so on and so on and how i'm liking it so far
Okay, so I finished the first ball. This is going, I'm sorry, my mouse all in the way because I'm at my computer desk. So this is going to be my second ball of yarn. And let me tell you how much the first ball measures. This is just the back, mind you. So the first ball made it up to eight centimeters, inches. Look at this, inches. Hold on. Okay, so the first ball made it up to about, I'd say almost 9 inches, which is not that bad because I just have to go to 13. So, come back out. So, it's not that bad. The yardage is okay, I guess. So, what I'm going to do is take these two and now you could just, um... Weave in the ends at the end if you want. You could just attach the yarn any way you want. But for this yarn, I'm just literally going to tie it because you won't never know. So I'm going to tie it once. And then I'm going to tie it again. Right. And then I'm going to take some scissors and I'm going to trim off those ends those extra ends and then this is back and then boom like nothing ever happened and I'm just going to continue so now I'm going to continue with these single crochets until I hit 13 inches which I'm actually almost there honestly guys at first not being able to see not being able to see the v's really messed me up like i was sticking my nail in trying to like figure out which one i was putting that hook into but now it's just like one two three like i could just keep going because your hook just usually really just slides in so like i'm just gonna finish and then I'm gonna kind of I'm gonna come back so I can show you how to do the front. I'm almost done, so I'll see you guys in a few. Okay, guys. So I did 13 inches. Where's my measuring tape? So I did 13 inches, but I measured it on. To my daughter's back and I think I want to do like maybe three more rows of this so this really doesn't shed I was hearing things like it sheds and but I'm not seeing any shedding like at all even when you cut it it really doesn't shed the only thing is it's hard to find the next stitch so that's the only thing but other than that i'm really liking this yarn so yeah so i'm actually just gonna do Three more rows of single crochets for the back. Only because I just want a little longer than what it is. So yeah, I'm gonna turn turn the camera off now, and then I'm gonna come back when it's. We gotta have two more rows, and then. I should be good with that. Okay, so I did about three more rows and it comes out to about 15 inches long. So now I kind of should have did a little wider and up so that it'll like go over her, but we're just gonna work with it. I don't have a pattern, I'm literally just taking measurements and winging it. It usually works out good for me when I wing it so right now I'm going to 
snip off real quick and tie off. So I'm going to leave that right there because I'm going to sew over it so you won't even see the ends of it. So now. So now I am going to measure this out. I was thinking about what I'm going to do now. So now I'm going to measure this out and the bottom is all of it is about 16 inches wide so we are going to take four inches off of that right because uh, four inches is about this wide for the middle so you want that gap in between so it's not like overlapping each other that makes sense so then we're going to divide 12 by 2 and that gives us 6 inches. So each side right here should be 6 inches. So what I'm going to do is we're going to make these in pieces. So now I'm just going to take my yarn again. Make a slip knot. And chain. Let me see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. <laughs> Seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Perfect. So I'm going to actually do 13. And then not in this stitch, but the one. Sorry, the one right after it. You're going to do single crochet. So that's one, two. is wrong I'm supposed to have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten oh no okay this is going to be nine ten eleven okay so this is the last one and that's it well okay perfect for the first two rows you want to count each stitch just to make sure that you're going into the right stitches this is what it looks like so far so now I am going to chain one and I am going to single crochet let me put this to the side so I marked my armholes from the four inches from the top so took my measurement tape I went from the top of the garment down here's the top to about four inches and then I folded the piece in half and I put it on the same side of here too so this is what our armholes starts and so you won't sew no more of that until you get to the top part right here so now this is really simple you're not going to decrease increase or nothing you're just literally going to go all the way up to the top so this should reach 15 inches too so I'm just going to keep going back and forth single crocheting until this piece hits 15 inches as well and then I'm going to make two of these so so far um, this is going to be my second ball so this is my second ball and I'm on the the front panel so I think that's pretty good So 
So I'm really just going to keep going. And I'll come back once I have both panels done again. Um, I guess I'll write it down in the description box too. But my daughter wears a uh, like between a 4T and a 5T. I'm lying. I'm so lying. I'm sorry. She wears a, I want to say a small. So what is that? Yeah, that's like a 4X, 5X, right? So, I'm going off with those measurements, but, so if you, so if you want to make a small for a girl, this is the measurements you will need. The back panel will be 16 inches long, and then you're going to go up 15 inches. Now that going up depends on how big or how small the girl is, because my daughter is tall, but she's skinny. So, I went up... 15 inches just so it gives her a little wiggle room so it's not too short and I went over 16 because she's small and if she's if your daughter or niece is bigger than my daughter small or a small or bigger than a small you will need to go longer if that makes sense I'm probably gonna do a voiceover because this is messy but <laughs> You're going to need to do more inches going over if your child is bigger than a 4 or 5. So, I'm basically just going to do single crochets back and forth until it hits 15 inches long. So this is what three rows, three rows so far is looking like. So it's really not that bad. And then it's going to be here. It's perfect. So I'm going to go all the way here, all the way up. So I'm going to be back when both panels are done and they are 16, I'm sorry, 15 inches long. And then we're going to um sew the pieces together and then work on the hood so i'll be back Okay, so ugh, let me come back. So I did both panels. This is how it's looking. Oh, this is I. So one's gonna go on this side, and one's gonna go on this side. Really gonna go like this, and it looks like this so far. So, what I'm going to do is put one panel to the side, I'll turn this around, grab my needle, and I am going to this might be harder than it looks. Okay, I got it. Okay, so I'm going. Up. I am going to turn it this way. 
winging this guys I'm sorry I'm gonna turn it this way so that I could go across Okay, so I changed my mind. I changed my mind. I want to do a hood. We're going to see how it works out. I have a, I'm going to see how it works out. So, now, you don't have to add this hood because, I mean, let's be honest. This is perfect just the way it is. So, this is right side in, so I'm going to turn it wrong side out, and we're going to start this hood. So, again, this hood is optional because this vest is already perfect, just how it is. So, I'm going to take the yarn again, and I'm going to start. We're going to make sure it's even. I want to make sure that we're doing this even. Okay, so I'm going to take my stitch marker. I'm going to go in through here. And, and I'm going to go in through here. So we're going to make sure that these stitches are even. I'm going to take my working yarn. I'm actually going to turn it this way because it's just easier for me to work with. And I'm going to insert my hook into that stitch that the stitch marker is in. And I am going to chain one. Tighten it now. Well, now, in every stitch around, I'm going to do a... I'm going to do two single crochets. So that's one. And I'm actually going to yarn over the loose yarn. I'm going to put two single crochets in every stitch around. Okay. I'm going to take the stitch marker out now.
Okay. So, let's flip it around. So you can already see the hood action happening. Oh my God, I'm gonna fucking love this. So you already see the hood action happening. So I'm just going to keep, I'm gonna keep going until keep going until it's big enough for me and um so so far this was three rows i'm gonna keep track i'm gonna keep track of it because i'm not really sure how many rows i'm actually going to do or how many inches but i will come back and tell you exactly how many rows or how many inches before i sew the hood together so you will see that but I'm not sure exactly how big it's going to be yet. So I'm going to keep going and, and I'm going to come back. Okay, guys, you know I change my mind so much when I'm doing a project. And I just go with the flow. And I kind of like it like this. Like this little collar type thing that's going on with the, with the sleeves. Like, I kind of like it like this, so I'm going to leave it like this. So, I'm going to tell you how many inches this is. So, from here, it's six inches. Now, if you want a hood, you would, like, probably do another six inches with double this, and then you will sew this like this, and it will become a hood. Make sense? Like you would sew from here to here and then it will be a hood you just flip it back inside out but I like it like this this little collar thing I'm actually gonna try it on her in a few and thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed this go fox fur vest and I'll see you guys in my next video bye